Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Sales Mindset TV show. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. It's been a, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. I love... I, do you know, I, I don't like Fridays. Why? Because I love work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love Fridays because it means it's Saturday. <laughs> Next. <laughs> um, today, churn rate. We said we're yeah. going to talk about churn rate. Um, and as well as churn rate, I think... Keep spending time to keep your pipeline updated. Yeah. Because that's important, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we touched on that at the very beginning of the week. Yeah, right? yeah. So, and I think churn rate is something, I, as I mentioned at the beginning of the, of the week, I didn't consider the people I was losing. Mm. But then I also didn't calculate the people that I, w- I was losing once they were clients as well, the churn rate yeah, of my yeah, clients. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And this comes as part of your funnel, doesn't it? Well, it, well, it does. And... You know, some businesses and uh, some business owners out there watching this are maybe selling a service which, which you might be targeting uh, an annual figure. And therefore, churn is probably something you look at annually, right? And if you actually repeat any of that service business, it might, you might have a 100% churn rate, i.e. nothing stays in your pipeline. But if you are a business that is more into uh, repeat ordering, or repeat sales. So you set yourself monthly, quarterly, uh, or even weekly sales targets. Then churn is really important because what you what you what you start to build into your into your sort of sales activity through your pipeline is the need that you have to be continually filling it, or the need you have to continually be pulling things things through it. Yeah. And I think the more you're aware of what's falling out, the more robust the filling becomes. Because this goes, the, the sales pipeline, the churn rate, it, it goes hand in hand with the, um, with the sales calculator that you, that you have, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Which people can download from your website. Yeah. It, uh, it's a small cost, £10, yeah, yeah. but this really will help people throughout the year understand their churn rate and the amount of sales that they need to get. Yeah, it just provides that extra bit of clarity on how many of your widgets you need to sell to make the number you need to make in pound notes. Yeah, yeah. I think for ten pounds, it can actually make you thousands. Yeah, I just hope a, so. Yeah, yeah. just under, understanding yeah. Yeah. that churn rate. Um, and with that, you can actually you just need to spend a bit more time making sure that sales calculator and your yeah. pipeline is consistently updated. Well, so they they go together, right? So there's no point setting your resetting or recalculating a sales target once you know your churn, your velocity. You know, all the other maths of selling that we speak about, there's no, there's no point unless, <laughs> unless your pipeline is up to date. Yeah. That actually you're making sure in your CRM or in your, um, in your however you, you use your pipeline, that you are end dating things, that you are deleting things, that you are moving things to different phases. There's no point in having a pipeline unless it really is updated and active all the time. And one of the things we like to keep updating our pipeline, again, is the time it takes, the velocity it takes for people to come through. Yeah. That's important for us. So if someone's dawdling or if we're dawdling to convert someone, we can see that. Yeah. So we can move them down or move them back up even. Well, I mean, yeah, without opening that one again, you're absolutely right. Your pipeline will indicate to you what is your next action. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it is Friday, it's the end of the week. Um, if you're like me and you like to, uh, <laughs> to get on. more work done, um, do head over to the Sales Mindset Group because there is a lot of advice in there in which you can take on board over the weekend that will really help you develop your sales skills. Yep. Also, do grab the calculator. We'll put a link in this video at the yep. bottom yep. Uh, in one of the comments uh, with, at, with a link to the sales calculator. Do go on and grab it because it will help. It really will help you understand your business and your sales targets for the rest of this year. You can break it down to quarter, month, and even weekly if you, if you need to, if you want to. Um, so do go and grab that. You should be in sales. I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing these videos way too long now. <laughs> um, so yeah, do, grab, do go over there. Um, from us to Hero, have a great week. Um, and we look forward to catching up with you uh, next week. Do remember, though, next week is Steve's event. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. 5th of February. And jury's in Sheffield. Jury's in in Sheffield. You can go over to, uh, to Eventbrite um, or do message Steve and he will send you the link. Again, head over there. Uh, get some tickets. Head over there. 
Tickets are limited, so please hurry up and grab your tickets. And again, I promise you, it's an event that you don't want to miss. From us still here, have a great day, and we look forward to catching up with you next week.